Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and another video of, of weird things that I don't normally paint. <laughs> so earlier this week we had um, my turn at 28 army. Now up next is, if you're a regular viewer of the most excellent Plastic Crack podcast every Monday, uh, you'll notice that there's often a a lot of chat about badges. And it's because of this, Burrows and Badges um, by um, Oath Sworn Miniatures. Um, most of us, well, me, Martin, and, and, and Dom, all own Burrows and Badges figures. Um, now, Dom, he didn't, he didn't get it to start off with. <laughs> he said he just didn't get it. Um, but now he's got, he's got quite a sizable collection of um, animals armed with different weapons. So I was sort of the, the third one to it. So I went out and I got a <clears throat> one of the, one of the starter bands from from Motus One, um, and I just thought I'd show you them because I'm quite proud of them. These are a little bit different because these are metal miniatures, and as, as many people know, I'm quite a not not a massive fan of metal figures, but I cannot fault these. Absolutely brilliant figures, lovely sculpts, just full of character. Um, I, I enjoyed the, the six of these and I, I enjoyed painting every single one of them. Um, what else is different is that I didn't batch paint them. So with, with bolt action and with uh, the turn of 28 stuff, I do a lot of batch painting. I, I paint in you know, large batches, um, get the paint on quickly, get the unit finished as, you know, as soon as possible. Um, but with these, I, I painted them individually, which is not something that I really do. Um, another thing I did as well, I didn't rely heavily on washes, which I normally, my, my normal painting thing is, is to block paint wash to highlight them, you know, I'm done. But with these, these are slightly different, I took my time and I enjoyed every single minute of it. So, let's have a look at my warband. So, what we have here is, this is a pirate otter. <laughs> and he's a huge figure, he's massive. Um, just look at the just look at the, the, the detail though the crisp sculpt on that just such a lovely figure to work on um and this was the first one i painted i just thought i have to paint this guy it's i like pirates so i've got to paint a pirate otter um just wonderful wonderful figure to paint just just look at his face just full of character um, and he's going to be the leader of my war band. Oh, I want to be. He's a he's a pirate otter. Of course, he's going to be the leader. So that was the first one I painted. Um, as you can see, I I enjoyed myself immensely painting that guy. Really, really lovely, lovely sculpt. Up next was uh, this. I think this is a hare. Uh, a hare with a bow and arrow. It's like a hare ranger. Um, again. Just, just look at the crispness of the sculpt. Lovely, lovely, really lovely sculpt. Um, and again, painting it just, just individually painted, no batch painting, no, no heavy, massive washes. Every figure is a character, and that's what, I, well, that's what I've really enjoyed about painting these. Every single figure in this warband is just full of character. And you know, I took my time, and it was just. It was it was going back to my, the roots of how I used to paint. I used to paint individual figures, and you know, take my time over them. And I, I did with these, and it was just it was it was just painting for the the, the joy of painting, um, and I really enjoyed it. So after the hair, we have do, 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 oh, we have this guy. So <laughs> slightly smaller than the rest of them. This is a shrew zerker. It's a shrew with a big axe, and he looks very, very angry. Uh, what this demonstrates is just the size difference between some of these figures. Look at the look at the difference in size between those two. And that's a ski uh, that's a theme all across uh, Burrows and Bar Badges, if I can say it. Um, is the 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 difference in scale between the figures because that mean that they're animals with weapons. But he he took that that took about half an hour to paint. It was really very quick, uh, but again, just he just looks a bit mad, doesn't he? Full of character and just really, really enjoyable to paint. So after the shrew, uh, it was this next, which is a it's a it's a fox. Is it a fox? I think it's a fox. Um, the bow and arrow, a fox ranger. 
Um, I actually, so I actually painted this in one sitting in one night. Um, and it's very rare that I do that. It's very rare that I use colours as bright as this as well. Um, it was just, just lovely building up the the different tones and the shades on the on on the um, the pelt and the fur. Everything about it was just a joy to paint. So different to what I normally do as well. Again, just look at the face on that. Just, just so full of character. Really enjoyed that one. And then up next was another small one. So this is a mouse. She's a nun. Well, a nun. Yeah, I think she's a nun. Um, but again, just, just so. The, the size difference between the figures is just fantastic. Uh, and again, she didn't take, take very long to paint at all. I think it's about 45 minutes to paint that. And I tried to put some detail in her book. But the, fa the faces on these on these sculpts are so, so good. I, I just cannot praise these enough. Like I said, they're made by Oath Sworn Miniatures and they are lovely, lovely figures. And the last one to complete the warband is this, I believe it's a Sparrow. Again, just, just a really lovely sculpt. So crisp. Um, did a bit of research on, on <laughs> bird plumage um, to find one that I liked. Um, and I think it came out quite well. Again, these are all metal, which is it's quite rare for me. I don't do metal figures. Well, I'll be painting a lot more of these, I know that much. I just enjoyed these. I, paint, I painted these over the course of a week. It took about, about, yeah, about a week to paint these. And every single one was an absolute joy to paint. So that is my Burrows and Badgers Warband. Um, that's the starter bot, uh, like a starter kit you can get. Um, and I will definitely be, be getting some more. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd, sh I'd show them. It's not again it's something really different to what I normally paint, but just a different way of painting, and it sort of reinvigorated my 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 my, my love of painting. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing more of these. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very brief Burrows and Badges video. If you've got any comments or questions about them, uh, just leave them down below in the comment section. I'll reply to all comments and questions. But as always, thanks for watching. Do take care. May you dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So bye bye for now.